three at the Arnold Classic. Got a special guest with me. Skipped out on us yesterday, but I uh, felt bad about it and decided to show up. Uh, I am Mr. fashionably late. Mr. P. Stu, uh, Stuart Sutherland joining us. Uh, of course, uh, we'll put the uh, Jordan Hutchinson, uh, you know, part one on first. But um, Stuart, uh, how's the show been for you, man? Who brought you out here? Uh, so I've been with uh, my supplement crossover here, uh, Paul, on for shoot like uh four or five months now yeah. so uh this is the first honor i've ever been to uh and it's completely overwhelming yeah just as i dude. expected well, my, too. this is our first one so yeah yeah my my legs hurt my my knees hurt everything hurts but i'm having just a standing health. all day and then yeah. training in between right right yeah hunter and i that's why i missed yeah, yesterday hunter yeah. and i went and hit legs and uh did not want to get out of bed this morning for day three but I made it, so uh, yeah. So we're gonna let you slide when you know when uh, Hunter asked you to go train legs. You're like, no, I gotta go do a podcast with this guy Zach. So I, you probably made the right choice. Anyway, but thank you for stopping back by today. Yeah. Uh, are you the only uh, bodybuilder upon sponsor right now? Yeah, Branch used to be on the team, okay, but right. he's, all, he's doing, doing his own, own thing. thing now. All right, yeah, well yeah. that's really cool, man. Like nice on like, taking care of you and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean I figure if. If Branch liked him, he, he's, he doesn't tolerate no bullshit. Absolutely. So it must, yeah, it, it'll work good out. Good litmus test, you know. Very nice. Right. So real quick, before we get into uh, what we brought you on for, give me your, your thoughts on the uh, the finals. Uh, we'll just stick with the Open. Um, Please, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> right. Uh, men's, cla- men's physique, who did you like in fifth? No. Uh, uh, I didn't think. But uh, anyway, yeah, Open. So, I mean, I'll just start off. I think it pretty much uh, played out the way it should have. I think they got them all right. Um, I don't know. What's your take on it? I agree. I think Hottie was, he, uh, he's a different class. Absolutely. Above he is. It's like conditioning, the, fullness. Con- conditioning and just completeness, top to bottom. Absolutely. Uh, Samson still lacks a little bit in his back. A little bit. He's continuing to improve it. But, like, you know, I mean, if you're not real hard like Hottie was, I don't think he should really be winning shows like that. So. I mean, I'll say, you know, as far as the aesthetics, yeah, but in the back, I think, you know, the back lat spread, I think, is right there, but, like, that back double by, just Hottie's thickness from the lower lats on up, I mean, I just, I don't think it's close yet. And, I mean, that's coming. I mean, I know Sam's so huge. He's got a lot working for him. I think, you know, he'll have to bring that Hottie conditioning in order to beat a back like that and beat Derek's back. And I, I, I honestly wonder if a guy like that can actually bring that level I of mean, conditioning. Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we, we've been saying that about Akeem for like a decade now, right? Right. And you know, he's he always. It's not because he's not working yeah, hard. Exactly. So like, don't get it twisted. Let's say so if he hadn't figured it out in ten years, right? It's, right. It's not that it, he hadn't figured it out. It just may not happen, right? It might just be a thick skin thing or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't have to deal with those issues, right. fortunately. But yeah, right. Yeah, I mean, he's still placing, you know, third in the world. So like, Absolutely. you can't really knock that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean. You know, the one, two, right decision there. Third place, Raph, Raph Rundell, uh, man, he looked a lot better than he did. Dude, it's I, been a year and a half since he It was crazy. Right? He kept yeah. the conditioning, if not better, and put on size, right? I, yeah. I'll i be honest, and it's a personal preference, obviously, with, with bodybuilding being subjective. I'd have had him in second, and just because I love his physique, man. I love just the shape of his legs, the conditioning, I mean, the silhouette. Like, oh, the, I'd yeah, have had him in second. But. Yeah, it all fits together really good. And I mean, what have we been saying about him for ever now? Yeah. You know, he's been a pro for just a get long bigger, time. Right? And you need more muscle. You need more muscle because he's a little taller, and he just needed to fill himself out. He's always like the aesthetic guy, and that can only take you so far in the open. Right. And like, then, I mean, I think he's uh, he's literally there. You know, he's he's getting there. So um, yeah. he's very close. Like that physique is like I think a top ten in the world kind of physique. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, absolutely, Raphael. Best he's looked, and then. You know, John De La Rosa, I, I just never really paid a lot of attention to him. Mm-hmm. And, dude, he made me stand up and notice. I was like, even the prejudging, just so complete, man. I was just like, damn, man, this dude looks really good. And I just had never thought of him as a top-level guy at all. But, yeah, he dude, he, looked, he nailed it, man. He looked really good. I was really impressed with him. And, uh, you know, when they moved up. Uh, Close to the end of the prejudging, when they moved Akeem, now he did improve for the night show, but they moved him in uh, uh, in front of uh, John De La Rosa, and I was like, ah, don't do John's has got to be there, and I'm glad at the end he he wound up in fourth. Yeah, so he was fourth, was fifth, James. Uh, yeah, it was James. James, and then sixth was Akeem. Yeah, seventh was Antoine. Right. I think Antoine probably could have been a little higher. I had him in I'm, fifth. I'm a fan. Of I had him, him in fifth. I, I'm a total fanboy of Antoine. I I love Antoine, so. I know. I'm super biased, but um, you know he, he like the guy looks way better on stage than he does in pictures and on his own because he's big frame guy. Yeah. He's got a lot of muscle and he doesn't really it doesn't really start to pop 
until he's posing, and he can pose really well. Dude, you know? I was gonna say. So obviously they gave they gave Samson the best poser, and it was a really good routine. I had Antoine winning that all day. Yeah, like in his routine, I mean, just like he he would do these shots that were almost like superhero esque, right? Like where he's looking up and dramatic. And I was like, dude, that's like a poster I'd put in my room, like as a yeah. you know teenager or whatever. And uh, I gotta uh, I gotta figure yeah. out a good posing routine this week because that's something I like to put effort into yeah, personally. Yeah, absolutely. Which is, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and. Try and watch his. these. Dude, oh. but he, he does some shots I haven't seen anybody else do. So I really, dude, Antoine, Matt props to you on that, man. So, yeah, and I think everything else was pretty much, you know, laid out, you know, as it was supposed to. But they got the top winner right, you yeah. know, and so that was good. So it'll be a good Olympia, man. Um, you know, a lot of these guys, I don't know if that's going to be it or if they're going to hang on and do another show. But I think they probably will. You know, I'm, I'm getting ready for New York right now. But so you see any of these guys, I, you think? Well, I, I'm sure some of the Brazilian guys will keep going. Yeah. You know, Marcelo. Yeah. I'm sure, he's disappointed right now. I right. think he's doing Detroit. Okay. And that's two weeks, three weeks? Uh, No, the... the our class UK is in two weeks, okay, and then a after that. couple weeks after that, I think, is Detroit. So, yeah. All right. still a ways to go, but yeah. Um, and he yeah. can get a little harder. I mean, it's weird. He's like hard in, the, in different places, right? And he needs yeah. to harden up in certain in yeah, other places. Yeah, Hams, man. I, I got nervous. Like, there was a lot of hype on him yeah. going in. Dude, I, like, I think I predicted him third or something, you know? And then, a lot of people did, man, because he's yes, got a great physique, right. but like, what do your glutes and hams look like? Yeah. What does your lower back look like? Yeah. If you're not showing upper that. body, you could see next to the other guys, just, you know, a little bit, you know, not quite there yet. But, dude, he's young, and he put on all that size so fast. It yeah. like, what, 16, 18 months ago, he was trying to do classic physique, right? Yeah. And so that's how much he's, how fast he's put it on. So I think if he slows that process and puts on quality muscle, he's, he'll be right up there. Yep. Um, all right, man. Talking about analyzing physique, let's go right in. So we, uh. Jordan got the the first uh, blows, you know, at, on you and all this. So what we did was, was uh, you're gonna give me a complimentary, uh, you know, something about your opponent right here, and then uh, and then you're gonna give something that you felt like you need to work on. So I'll go ahead and speak for Jordan right here and kind of reiterate what he said. And uh, I'll tell you right now, when we go through these, and, and I don't know how was the lighting at the New York Pro. Was Do you feel like good. it was is comparable? It, are, is this the I screenshot all, of the Gilco video? Or I, dude, is it, it was like a, all the stuff I took off your Instagram. So oh, okay. I will say, them. like, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you, in all these, Jordan looks like he has you a little bit conditioning on all of them. So I mean, maybe he just did, or I was just wondering if it was the lighting because these are really the only pictures I could grab. Um, but we'll go ahead and start off, man. Front double bicep, you know, what do you like on your – or let's say, what do you think you need to improve here? And uh, we'll just go that way. Honestly, my abs, as, as even though that's not really a huge part of this pose – uh, I mean, I noticed that in my front double and front lat spread last year, you know, I pull a vacuum okay. or a semi-vacuum, right. and there's just, you know, it looks washed out. There's okay. not much going on there. Um, and I think if I just train them more and get them a little blockier, they're going to stand out. But you're not going to go with the current front double by, though. You're still going to no, 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 no. That looks like crap. On that, man, I just want to throw this out there and get your thoughts. So, you know, speaking of James, he got fifth um, yeah. yesterday. So, and I think on the other, other shots, I can see it, but you know, from when we're standing like 30 rows back, that front double bicep, it literally doesn't look like he's in shape. And it's like, it's almost like it, it is washed out. And this yep. is the same time I remember him a few years ago competing, it was the same issue. So do you think that's just, uh, I mean, does he need to get thicker abs? Is it the way, you know, is it his tan? What do you think it is that he holds I, that I film? Don't, I don't think Cause it's not like he's, he's not in shape. He's I mean, in shape, but it's I don't just, think it's a film. I don't think he's out of shape. I think he just has small abs. Like, they don't take up much of his and torso. And they just don't protrude on and that they're not, shot? Yeah, they're literally, like, they look like they were shrunk down in PowerPoint. You know, they take up less of his stomach, and they're not popping out much. They might, I'm sure they're very thick. Like, I can squat, like, eight plates, yeah, right? right? He has a strong core. But, um, you know, I, I, I'd assume it's probably just a lack of ab development. And, yeah. you know, for a guy at that level, it's not like he's not trying. It's right, not like right. he's, he doesn't know this is an issue. So, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I, I think that's just kind of a, a flaw in his physique, but, right. you know, not a huge one. Here we go. Next shot. Let's move through these. All right. Front lat spread. This is a really good shot for Jordan, I think. Uh, good cross striation in his chest. Really good shoulders. Um, you know, you always have different physiques on this shot, man. But, I mean, what do you want to see? You know, what are you going to work on here for this shot right here? Uh, again, abs. I look, I look a little washed It's the same out. thing. They're, you're kind of posing. In that yeah. Similar. I mean, I think you got, you know, your arms look really good here. I think you, got, you have them on arms there. His conditioning is really good. Yeah, I, I need to pose this a little different too and lean it forward more. Okay. So I'm like pulling my sternum right, up right. more than uh, a lot of guys do. I need to like lean my shoulders. Right, a and that's kind of hiding your chest a little bit, being yep. that far back. 
All right, side chest, man. Um, uh, arms, arms all day. Like arms I, all day I think, right I think uh, Jordan needs. I've just told this a million times already, uh, but no, he, he needs bigger arms. Absolutely, uh, especially in his front double and right. uh, his back double. Like everything else is there. Yeah. Like and he's in shape. That's the only thing that's missing. And in, in the pro league, like that's a problem. And he's he's a little taller than me. It's right. a couple inches. And that taller. makes a huge difference, though, right? Yeah. And just the yeah. way his physique comes together. Uh huh. Uh-huh. All right, back double bicep, man. I mean, I like your silhouette on here, you know, much more personally. You know, the legs look a lot thicker coming out from the side. Um, Conditioning-wise, again, man, like, it, it's hard to say because your hamstrings are right there, man. I mean, they're thrown out. They're hard. But what do you want to improve on this one? I mean, it's, it's very close on this, but two different physiques when I'm looking at this. Uh, yeah, so, like, last year, uh, there's there's a lot of meat there, but there's not a lot of flare up under my armpits, right? So, Something that I've worked on a lot this off season, and I think I'm actually doing a good job of it, is like working on my Terry's muscle. So like the basically at the top of your lat that kind of scoops up under your. Are, are there certain uh, exercises that you're doing to like target that? Wider grip pull downs, and I'm kind of pulling it up higher than I okay. usually would right. uh, with a regular lat pull down. Um, so you're doing like that as an extra exercise every time on back day or something to like really target. Oh, it's that. not extra. I put it first to my session. First, All yeah, right. that's I, a priority. You know, I'm freshest. I, right. I'm strongest on it. So absolutely. Uh, and I've gotten much stronger on those movements, and it's translated nice. in, in the way that my back double looks. So um, also adductors. You know, actually, uh, I mean, Jordan needs to work on those too. I think it's weird because like we both have pretty good adductors from the front, but like you see, there's a gap there. Right. That's yeah. Neither of us. It doesn't look good on either of us. You know, what's so. funny is like, it, and I, I, that's why I kind of asked if you think maybe the lighting was an issue because really on a lot of these shots, I mean, Jordan looks a little more conditioned than you are, but not in this shot, right? And like your glutes are more prominent. You know, I would personally like to see Jordan kick that leg out and back a little bit more. Um, just I think that would do, that would accentuate his physique. But, you know, maybe he likes to hit like that and that looks better, you know, for him. But I, I think if, if he was hitting a little bit more like you did, I think that would accentuate it a little bit more. But. You know, yeah. I, I'm not at y'all's level. I just kind of, you know, it's what I'm looking at. But Again, I think both of us could stand to have more meat under our armpits and fill in those gaps that you can see. Right. Um, and you know, maybe we could pose them a little differently, but we just need more muscle back there. You keep in mind, like, I think Jordan's 29. I'm 27. So, like, we're still... You know, your back takes a while to develop. Right. Uh, so we're not there yet. That's usually the last thing, right? Come well, in. Next couple of years, hopefully. Uh, this is my pose. Uh, and we agreed on that, man. Yeah. We, I mean, <laughs> you know, as I kind of was, we were coming off the classic physique, and I, I don't know if you saw it. So, really, you, you have abs like, like Dino as far as the way they are and the way they come together. And then uh, Jordan's were actually more like Wesley. So, we were kind of comparing in that respect. Obviously, a different looks, but your taper in that is just so good. I mean, you definitely, definitely win this pose. Um, I don't, I don't know why, but like, particularly for me like the way that my uh what are they your uh, obliques yeah, when i flex and, yeah yeah when i flex that all in it just it's like a corset yeah not everybody gets in. that Absolutely. like like uh james for example you know when he hits his his uh his ab thigh it's like it doesn't suck in like mine does but like it'll go mine will go from like much wider just sh- right in so i'm lucky there yeah great uh, shot for you man and just the whole silhouette kind of yeah, works absolutely i'm a one trick pony that's that's my deal so most muscular, um, this is kind of uh, Jordan's preferred one right here. I know you'll hit that and then you usually go into the crab, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I think I look better in the crab. In the crab shot. Um, I've, uh, I, I think arms, like he's got delts are pretty damn yeah, close. Yeah. But again, it's almost overshot shadows his arms. So yeah, he's got. You're going to win this most muscular until he brings those arms up, I think, uh-huh. you know, especially in a crab. I, he doesn't usually hit the crab, but again, we're looking at different physiques, but, um, you know, two different looks for sure. Um, yeah, but so we're both, as of right now, me and Jordan are both planning on doing Chicago. Um, I may have said at, at one point that I will retire if he beats that me. That is, he did say that. Um, I meant to bring that up. So, so <laughs> we're still sticking with that? I think uh, he took that a little bit personally, man. If, listen, if I'm not confident I'm going to beat him, I'm not doing the fair. There you uh, go. I'm, my hope is that I can win Vancouver the week before uh, Chicago and then just have a good reason then, to not do yeah, it. Yeah, then let him. And then I can risk it. it, you know? So. I got you, man. <laughs> well, you know, we, I got you guys on here when I met you both in person uh, at a destination a, a month or two ago. And, uh, you know, I think both of you guys are in a similar boat, similar age, both kind of up and coming. I, you know, I expect to see both of you guys at the Olympia, you know, 
if not this year in the, in the near future. So I think that was a good versus. We're calling the the big bad bodybuilding uh, versus. So this is our first episode. So uh, I'm not going to declare a winner. Um, I was going to let you guys decide that are Dennis. Because uh, we'll, we'll here, know, so I'm not we'll know in videos. July. Don't yeah, worry. You absolutely. don't need to. So we got a little preview here. <laughs> so that wraps up uh, our first episode or our first edition of the Big Bad Bodybuilding versus. Um, the winner is undecided. We uh, possibly are going to see that in Chicago for real. Uh, Jordan versus Stu. Can't wait to see that. We are going to jump in now to our uh, Arnold movie trivia, being the Arnold Classic weekend here. Um, Jordan went through these same questions. I know you haven't seen uh, the, the episode because it hadn't not. been posted yet. So I'm, I'm confident that he hadn't heard these, uh, these answers, and I doubt Jordan gave him the answers. He was terrible. By the way, I think he got three of eight. I'll have to go back and watch it. But I think one of those three, I literally gave it to him. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you the same hand if, if you miss this first one. But okay. all right, we're going to go into it. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to read these much better than Dennis did because Dennis didn't know half the movies. Um, and so he did his best. But uh, it was funny watching him, watching him try, you can imagine. I wish right. I could have studied, man. This uh, is, no, uh... no, this was a pop quiz. So okay. All right, number one, this is the quote. Can you believe how much I am in heaven? Pumping iron. Hell yes, that is correct. That's easy. Didn't even, it was easy, right? He had no idea, man. I had to say, like. I'm coming all the time. I, exactly. But, yeah. That's where it's from. All right. <laughs> I'm already pretty confident you're going to take this. All right. One for one. All right. This one was a little tougher. I didn't know it till I uh, found it. All right. Number two. No sequel for you. Ooh. No sequel for you. You know, that's one of those one-liners they say when he destroys somebody, right? Take a uh, shot at it. Is, is it? Commando? That is incorrect. That is oh. a very good guess. At least you know what Commando is. Uh, yeah, I've watched this. It's a right. dumb movie, okay. but I Keep love it. Keep that in the back of your pocket. So, uh, All right. good. It was uh, Last Action Hero, which got terrible reviews, but I think every bodybuilding fan watched it, right? Do you know what that one is? I've never heard okay, of it. Okay, so I don't, that's not one of those, like, oh, you got to watch it tonight. No. But, uh, yeah, he was like, a, I can't even remember how to describe it. It was like he was in an, uh, an action, like a superhero or a comic, and he was going in and out of reality. And I don't know. I just know it didn't get real good reviews. But, you know, <laughs> okay. you were little when that one came out. So, all right. Uh, here's, a, here's one. This one's kind of tough, but, uh, you know, we'll see if you can get it. Number three, you're a fucking choir boy compared to me. You're, what? You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. Mm. Uh, double points if you get this one. I'm going to guess Commando again. Okay, just stay with that. Right. <laughs> end of Days. Have you ever heard of End of Days? No. Okay. Wait, right. wait what's the year of that, what, uh, the year of that movie? And the, the previous movie. Okay, it definitely 90s. Okay. All right. I couldn't tell you exactly what year, but I would say mid to early. In okay. <laughs> mid, to, <laughs> you know, End of Days, it was later 90s, I think. Closer to 2000. Uh, good movie. Uh, that one was pretty good. Don't. I would watch that before Last Action Hero. In my defense, I I was born in 97. So holy shit. Continue. <laughs> yeah, dude, you just made me feel real old. So I graduated in 98. So <laughs> screw you, brother. Um, I don't even feel sorry for you anymore. All right, I think you can get this one. Put the cookie down. Oh, uh, the teacher one. The no, wait. Is it bad teacher? Oh, wow. No, maybe not even the right actor. All right, Put the Cookie Down is, is definitely Jingle All the Way. Christmas movie where Arnold, tell me you know what Jingle All the Way is. No. Where he plays the superhero, and at the end he's in the parade, and he, like, flies around in the superhero. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, you thought I was going to win this, man. huh? All right, next Christmas, all right, you and your girlfriend, Jingle All the Way. When you have kids one day, you'll understand. Wait, so does um, that mean I can't watch Die Hard next uh, Christmas? <laughs> add that to the Christmas list. Oh, we, we got a uh, list So it's now, literally okay. a Christmas movie, and he has to hunt down this doll for his kid, and he, at the end, winds up becoming the doll in the parade, and it's actually a pretty decent movie. My kids and I watch it every yeah, it year. Sounds, sounds Dude, great. Dude, but put the cookie down is, like, the best line in that. All right, <laughs> add it to your list. All right, number five. This one's kind of tricky, but you'll, you've heard it. Come with me if you want to live. Terminator. Two. Correct. You snuck in the two. That is correct. <laughs> All right. So that gives you, we are at two right now. All right. I think you would need one to tie. So it was Terminator two. Okay. All right. Number six. Back in the game. Oh, this is so great. This is my favorite one. Tell me, who is your daddy and what does he do? Who is your daddy and what does he do? Uh... 
Is that the substitute teacher one? Can, I, I, can I get a name? Uh, I don't. I know. I've seen scenes of this movie. I don't know what it's called. Shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know if I can give it to you. Kindergarten cop. Kindergarten, Kindergarten cop. cop. Yeah, I wasn't gonna guess Another that. Another good no, one. No, All no, right. No. Yeah. At least you knew what it was. Okay. All right. Here we go. Number seven. <laughs> yeah, two more chances. Uh, I gotta tell you the story on this one. I get. All right. I eat green berets uh, for breakfast, and right now I am very hungry. Commando. There it is. Bam. Okay. All right. There you Third go. Third time's a charm. Hide it in the back pocket. I think all right, this is number eight. I'm pretty sure you're going to get it. This would give you the win. I have to tell you a story. And Dennis, is, he was pissed about this anyway because he, he thinks I, I, I set him up on purpose. So Dennis's version was I eat green barrettes for breakfast. Barrettes. Which, I'll be honest, I don't know how the difference you spell between barrette and beret, but uh, that, that got me laughing. I don't think barrette is a word. Barrette, no, barrette is something you put, the girls put in their hair to keep their hair back. Oh, a uh, uh, yeah, B-E-R-E-T, beret, yeah. Okay, okay. barrette. Are they spelled so, the same? so they're both headwear. There one for go. men, one for okay. women. I guess All a woman right. could wear a beret. That's true. So I guess technically he could eat some barrettes uh, for breakfast. But I learned something today. Yeah, anyway. But I have two daughters, so that's why I would know that, right? <laughs> so, all right, number eight. If you get this one, uh, you're never coming back on the show, which, you know, that's probably not, you're probably like good. But, all right, Dylan, you son of a bitch. Redditor. All right, and that will be the win right there. I think that's a solid four. All right, we're going to give it to you. Uh, you definitely had more of an idea. Jordan was completely lost. What do I win? So, the Chicago Pro? Uh, oh, I got you a shirt for sure. Okay. A big bet, well, yeah. That's... Well, you know what? I don't, and I, because I, all I have is a double X, and there's no way in hell you're fitting in that. Yeah, but, not worth you know, that. after come, coming to the Arnold, I learned real fast you don't come to the Arnold with like not having 3X, 4X. Learned your, so, uh, learned your lesson. <laughs> I'm literally going to make some, and I'll get you and Jordan one. Uh, Jordan just gets one because he made the appointment yesterday. And you skipped out, but you win one for winning the, the competition. So Fair enough. Awesome. All right, man. Well, thank you for entertaining me on that. I, that was fun to me. I, I probably don't read him as good as uh, Dennis, but at least I know what movies they're from for the most part. So that's all I got, man. Enjoy the rest of your show. Good luck yeah, with the Chicago, man. I'm going to be pulling for you and Jordan. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you which one secretly. Y'all are going to have to you're um, gonna have to pick one. Dennis and I Don't will, tell we'll me till after. <laughs> we'll, we'll, Dennis and I will pick. Like we'll we'll bet on it or something, man. So uh, but, I hope I hope Dennis bets on me. Yeah, I like Dennis more than you. Yeah, so. that's fair enough. Fair. <laughs> I think Jordan, Jordan trained with me a couple weeks, so I'm hoping he likes me more. You know, I don't know if I unless I embarrassed him too bad doing arms. But uh, anyway, great. Thank you, man, for coming on. All right. Good, Good luck to you. Uh, we'll see you at the Olympia. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> We're out. Hey guys, Ronnie here with Nutrition Wolf. Just want to give you a brief rundown on Big Bad Free and what it does for you. Big Bad Free is a stimulant-based pre-workout. So it does have caffeine and other stimulants that back up the caffeine. So definitely don't want to use it at night. Definitely pre-workout. It's going to give you a really good energy buzz as well as some euphoria. But on top of that, we have six grams of citrulline. We also have a clinical dose of the beta alanine to 3.2 grams as well as two grams of l carnitine tartrate. So it's also thermogenic in nature as well. So if you want a product that's really gonna you know, light your fire before the workout, this is the product for you. This is just one of our products. If you'd like to check us out more, check us out at nutritionwolf.com or check us out on social media.